Hi everyone, Naveed Askaizadeh for Magna Forensics. Thanks for joining me again for part two of going beyond the native artifacts of Axiom and digging deeper for evidence using Axiom's built-in functionality. In part one, we were investigating an employee who was exfilling data via his Google Docs account using his folder autosync. Using Axiom's built-in SQLite viewer, which we can see here on the right, and the file system explorer, which we can hear, see here on the left, we were able to find two SQLite databases, the syncconfig.db and the snapshot.db. These two SQLite databases contained a bunch of very valuable information for us, informing us on what Google account our company data was being synced to, in this particular case, this Gmail account, Nick Day Raider fan, and exactly what company data the snapshot DB had, what company data was being synced to that account. Um, not just that, but we also had MD5 hashes, the times that they were being synced to, and the sizes. There was some cleanup we needed to do, so we ran some SQL queries directly from our SQLite viewer, and once we cleaned up that data, we were able to export that data out for reporting later on. What we're going to do today is automate that entire process. What that's going to do for us is cut down on that analysis time and let Axiom really do all that heavy lifting for us. Now the question is, how do we automate that? We automate through Axiom's custom artifacts. Now, Axiom's custom artifacts doesn't require us to learn a proprietary language. We can do this through Python or through SQL and a little bit of XML thrown in. Being able to build out these custom artifacts pretty easily really helps us get through our caseload that much faster. Being able to customize Axiom to our particular environments just makes things a little bit easier for us as we do our day-to-day -day work. Now let's take a look at how we built our custom artifact for this particular case. Now what we're looking at here is just Notepad++ and it's the XML approach to it. Um, in the middle here, we've got some SQL statements. It's a select case statement. We're still looking at the sync config DB and the snapshot DB that we were looking at earlier. And what you'll also notice here, aside from the SQL statements, are the fragments below here and here. Now what the fragments help with is formatting of the data. It's not something that we actually have to do in the select statement anymore. For example, the date within the snapshot.db is in the Unix epoch format. Here, the only thing I have to do is state that within this particular fragment and it'll do the conversion for me. Once I've completed building out these two, two particular custom artifacts, looking for the information from the sync config DB and the snapshot DB, I'll go ahead and save this to my desktop and open up process to be able to load that custom artifact into process for my next case. We'll go to tools, manage custom artifacts. From here, add new custom artifact. We're going to scroll down, find that custom artifact that we're looking for. For us, it's the Google Docs local sync data. Double click on it. And both those artifacts that we were working on are now loaded. We click OK. And now they're added. We've already added an evidence source. We'll go to our computer artifacts, highlight custom artifacts, and double check to make sure they're there. And they're both there. Google Drive local config, Google Drive local synced. This is what I named them. This is actually something that you can, again, customize, name it, whatever you're comfortable with. Once this is done, go ahead and analyze that evidence. So now remember, all the heavy lifting is out of our hands. Any image that we feed into Axiom at this point, it's going to search for those two databases, look for that data, and serve that up to us as an artifact. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Let's change our file system over back to the Artifact Explorer. Go down to Custom, and here we have Google Drive Local Config Info. Let's go ahead and click on that. 
And we've got the Google Doc Sync folder, which is the default folder for syncing that users, the particular user that was syncing and the folder and the account that they were syncing to and the synced files all cleaned up, already run for us, the sizes and the date conversions already done, including the MD5s. And as you can see here on the right side, we've got all the detailed information, including the source information right here for us. And as with all other artifacts, this is a live link, which we can click and we'll go right back to our file system view, right back to that database if we need to verify that information. So thanks for taking the time to watch. I really appreciate it. It's also worth reminding you that all Magnet clients that build custom artifacts um, do submit their custom artifacts to our repository. Not all, but a lot. Um, and they're all available to you, those custom artifacts, to the Magnet clients free of charge um, at our website. So if you get a chance, please take a look. Uh, there might be something that might be very useful um, to your particular investigation. Um, it really might make a difference to you. And if you do have a custom artifact yourself, uh, please feel free to share it uh, with the rest of our community. Um, it's all about helping each other and uh, helping catch the bad guy. Thank you again. Really appreciate it. Till next time.